I'm Vanessa Ruck, welcome to my workshop. I'm here with 10 tools for some 10 tool tips. So, can you tell me the difference between the imperial and the metric? In this video, I'm gonna give you some 10 tool tips on how to tell them apart. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips how to tell them apart because picking up the wrong socket can cost you a lot of time. So it's all about making your workflow more efficient and also making sure you're not using the 19 when you should be using the three and a quarter because they can look very similar. So the first most obvious thing is where the tools live. Here we have the metric tools and you can immediately see all of the trays that they are living in are silver. Silver means metric. Now, if we then open up my second drawer, we can see black background. Black means imperial. So when you're going to your tool cabinet, you've got immediate visual clue, which is metric, which is imperial. But how about when your tool is no longer in the cabinet? You're out working, you've got a couple of sockets, which one is it? And that is where the typical tool engineering comes in. Imperial has one line, metric has two lines. Put them side by side, you can immediately see the difference. Now this is a 19 mil and a three and a quarter, so they look almost identical in size, but those two lines are gonna make sure you're not using the wrong tool for the job. While we're talking about random sockets, Obviously, in a tool cabinet like this, each of these sockets has its own home, but it can be situations where they don't have a place in the cabinet. Now, when you buy these sockets individually, they typically come on a little plastic hook, and I'm gonna give you a tip how to keep these organized. So on the top of the little plastic that they come on, there is a little clip. You can see the metal part here. It's possible to then get a rail that that clip comes off here slides onto here and then your sockets can live on here. That means when you have your tools out and about or in your tool case, they're organized, they're secure, they're not gonna roll around. And it also means that if one's missing at the end of the day, you've got a sign that one of your sockets is somewhere. So there we have it. Never get your Imperial and your metric sockets confused again. I'm Vanessa Ruck here with 10 Tool Tips. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.